Hello, everybody. Uh, first of all, let me apologize for the garbage uh, lighting setup and camera quality. My normal setup is at school right now, but this is an urgent video that I have to make. Now, in front of me right now, I have two glasses of water. But these aren't just water, these are water solutions. One is sugar water and one is salt water. I'm not sure which one is which. But I need to find out which one is which without putting either of them in my mouth. And how am I going to do that? Well, the answer is quite simple. See, I'm going to do the obvious thing. I'm going to dunk my testicles in both of them. So the theory behind this one is that scientists have discovered in humans, and in fact in many mammals, uh, taste receptors in the testicles and the anus. These are apparently so vital to the reproductive system that when scientists block the expression of the sweet taste bud gene in mice, those mice became infertile. So these sweet tasting taste buds in our testicles apparently have some magic properties that help us make babies. The theory here is that they'll also help us taste, you know, sweetness. So therefore, um, if I just dunk my balls in both of these glasses, well, I won't be able to taste anything out of the salt water, but I will be able to taste the sweetness of the sugar water. Now, I'm kind of skeptical about this whole thing. To me, the whole concept of tasting something seems inextricably linked to, ha to having that thing in your mouth, you know? You I can't imagine, I can't even fathom the idea of what tasting something from another part of the body would even be like, uh, much less that part of the body being the testicles. So, um, if this actually is a thing, I'm I'm going to be very shocked. I'm pretty sure it's just it's just a meme. But the only way to find out for certain is to try it out ourselves. So, um, I'm just gonna sort of, you know, turn around and. Uh, Get my belt off, and we're just gonna try dunking the balls in the in the glasses. You know, pretty simple experimental design. I don't think I'm overcomplicating anything. It's I'm just gonna see if I can taste the sweetness. Now I'm gonna grab the glass on the left. All right, here we go. And let me make sure you guys can see my face perfect. So right now I am uh, dunking the ball sack in there. All right, hold up. My balls are pretty big, so I gotta sort of maneuver them in there. Oop, that's cold water. That's cold water. Yeah, I'm not really, um, I'm not really tasting anything here, you know? So I'm thinking, if if the theory is correct, this must be the salt water, right? Because I'm not tasting anything. Um, all right, so let's put this one back. And here's the other one, which should be the sugar water, although it might not be if this is all BS. All right, so here we go. No way. I swear to you guys, I'm detecting a little bit of sweetness in my mouth right now. Like, it's vague at the back of the throat, but I can totally tell that this is sweet. I can't believe this is actually working. Oh my god. Yeah, I can taste, I can taste that insanity. I cannot believe this. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I'm in shock right now. My balls can taste sweet. I never knew about any of this. This is insanity. Oh my, you know, biology never ceases to amaze me. 
and this is just the latest example of that. Um, I, I'm genuinely awestruck at what I just experienced right now. It was like, th as soon as I took my balls out of the water, um, I could see, I could feel in my mouth the difference. Um, like there was no, there was no taste at all, but when my balls were in there, um, it was like a very vague hint of sweetness, which you would expect from a sugar water mixture. Now, <laughs> I know I just dunked my balls in these, but they were my balls, so I'm gonna drink this one. This one should be the salt water, just to confirm that in fact, um, this was the salt water. Yep, that was the salt water, all right. Ugh. And now, let's see, make sure this one was actually the sugar water. Yep, that's the sugar water. I, <laughs> I cannot believe that this actually worked. This is insane. My mind, it makes me wonder like what other fascinating abilities might the human body have that we just have no idea about. Because, like, now if I'm craving something sweet, well, the healthy thing to do isn't to eat that sweet thing. It's just dunk your balls in it, right? So you get the taste without having to eat anything. And, I mean, if you're trying to lose weight, this is perfect. Wow. I, the male body is just simply too powerful with this ability. You can really taste sweetness using your balls. That's, like... And I was surprised, too, about how it happened. Like, um, the fact that the water was around my balls, but I felt it in my mouth. I think the brain might have, like, a failsafe or something where if it detects a taste signal, it automatically just, like, puts it somewhere in the mouth so that you don't go crazy, you know, realizing that your balls can taste things. I don't know. Um, well, guys... There you have it. To answer the question of is it possible to taste sweet things with your balls, it totally is. I I cannot believe this. This is absolute insanity. I would like to use this ability more. So if you want me to, you know, maybe make like a orange juice versus apple juice versus grape juice taste test, can I tell the difference using only my ball sack? Uh, let me know because, I mean, I think that would be a really fun video to make and, um, I gotta, I've got to harness this ability more. Like, this is, if, if I can become, you know, that guy who tastes things with his balls, I, I'm happy to be that, that person. Um, this could be my calling because that was incredible. Uh, anyway, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. Take care, everyone. Have a nice night.